Okay, so having a look at this laser, we're looking at single-handed uh, sail controls and sail setup. So we're using a video of a boat in action to hopefully um, show the, the sort of real-world scenario of what, of what happens to the sail. Um, and we've got uh, Finley Dickinson here in the laser radial, so really good laser radial sailor. Uh, and we've got about five, five or six knots. So light winds, you know, varies. Obviously, it can go from one or two knots all the way to to six or seven knots, maybe. Um, so there will be some, you know, d differences in in setup across that wind range. Uh, so we're going to focus on the basics. But um, really, the 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 key here in the light winds um, is to not stall the sail up, uh, stall the sail out rather and not create too much drag from the sail. So we want to make the sail full enough that it will help give us enough power to get going, um, but not so full that we will create too much drag from that full sail, and not so full um, that we'll create too much of a corner for the wind to get around and therefore stall the sail. Um, so in the end what happens is you end up with a relatively flat sail, um, and the main sheet and the kicker become really important. So if you have a look, you'll notice that the blocks are right off the, the corner of the transom, and that's really, really important in the light winds. So if, if on your single hander, um, and here really uh, happens a lot in the laser, if these blocks start to um, move inboard on the traveler towards where the tiller is, then what you'll end up doing is creating a huge corner for that light wind to have to get around as it flows over the sail. Um, and unfortunately, unfortunately, the wind struggles to do that and often deflects off the leeward side and, and stalls. So um, one of the first things that we do is we make sure that tra traveller is really tight, um, but then we pay close attention to how much main sheet we pull in because the, the more you pull it in, the more likely you are to move that boom inboard. Uh, and we pay attention to how much kicker tension we have. So the kicker um, becomes really useful in that when you pull it on, uh, it pulls the boom down and relieves the pressure off the main sheet at the back. That helps keep the boom out towards the corner of the transom. Uh, and it also flattens the sail, so helps prevent that, um, that drag factor uh, and, and, and helps prevent having too full of a sail at the same time. So the most important thing is that we, we pull enough kicker on that the, the boom can stay out on the corner and we don't pull too much main sheet in. As we play the video, you'll see that we might go between, you know, sheeting in a little bit as we get a bit more wind, uh, and you might see that we're also sheeting out <coughs> again at times. So they're the, the, the critical points and the most important things. Uh, additional sail controls, we've got the Cunningham. So uh, there's absolutely no need for any Cunningham tension. Uh, only if things get really, really specific with waves uh, or slightly more wind would you even consider it. So at this point now you'd have no Cunningham on. And then the outhaul, uh, as always, you kind of try and trim the outhaul for the sea state you're in, but again, taking into account um, the, uh, the shape of the sail. So we don't want to make it too full. We don't want to make it too hard for the wind to get around, as we mentioned before. So you'll see the main sheet's been played in and out a little bit, in when there's a bit more wind. You can see there's a bit more wind because the sail has gone outboard a little bit more. Uh, and then at times when it's lighter, it's also uh, it's also eased. Okay, so to recap, we don't want the sail too full, and we don't want to create too great a corner for the wind to have to flow around as it goes over the sail. In order to achieve that, we are uh, easing our main sheet off from block to block a little bit, and we're pulling the kicker on a bit uh, to help keep the blocks out. Also helps keep the keep the sail flat and reduce the drag factor. Uh, with the Cunningham, we've not got any on. Uh, and with the outhaul, we're looking generally for a flat sail, but you might go a little bit fuller like we have um, here where there is some depth in the sail and that's uh, based on the fact that there's some waves there as well.